Hello, welcome to Family Faith Creek. I am so glad that you joined me today. This coming week is a very special week in the lives of Christians. What we do is we talk about Jesus' journey prior to dying on the cross. And today, I have something under this towel, which is a seek and find tray. When I take the towel off, you will be able to seek and find the different things that I tell you in this story. As you can see, there are many, many things on this tray. First of all, I want to point out a circle in the very middle that has black in it. Can you find it? That is ash. And what ash is, is from Palm Sunday last year, the palms were burned and turned to ash. So six weeks prior to Easter, we honor, we recognize Ash Wednesday. And with those ashes, a finger is put into them and then the mark of a cross is placed on a person's forehead as a reminder that, you know, someday we will die. But the cross reminds us that we too will live with Jesus and we will be saved. And this is the start of our Easter journey. Take a look on this Seek and Find page and see Take a look on this seek and find tray. Can you find a round disc that is white or kind of a cream color? It has a cross on the package and right next to it is a little wine glass. When we go through the story of Jesus, he shared a meal with all of his disciples. It was with the bread and wine. And that is called Holy Communion in our Christian faith, where Jesus shares his body and his blood. And it's a reminder that we are saved. That time is called the Lord's Supper. As we continue the last days of Jesus before he died on the cross, can you find a coin? There is a coin because one of the disciples he turned against Jesus and he told the Romans where Jesus was going to be. And that's where Jesus was arrested. Can you find the coin? Can you find the little piece of twine that's wound into a circle? Because Jesus was arrested and they took him to Jerusalem. As the people welcomed Jesus into Jerusalem, they were waving palms and laying their coats down and saying, Hosanna, Hosanna, Son of God. Can you find a green palm on this tray? Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane and he was praying. And while he was praying, he knew what was going to be coming up. And he was concerned about it. He knew God had his back with it and would help him. But he knew he had to go through all of this suffering. And while he was there, the Roman soldiers came. Remember Judas sold Jesus' location to the Roman soldiers? So they came and they took twine and arrested him. Can you find the little piece of twine wound up into a circle? Now Jesus was arrested. He was brought before Pontius Pilate and all the people were saying, crucify him, crucify him. So they took Jesus to a cross and on the cross, they pounded spikes into his feet and his hands. Can you find a very small spike showing and representing the nails that were pounded into him? And can you find a cross? There are at least three crosses on this tray. 
Can you find four crosses on this tray? There's one made of metal, one made of rope, one made of wood, and there's one blue one with Easter lilies on it. Can you find them? As you are looking at the crosses, stop. On this tray, can you find a purple ribbon? We use purple ribbon during this journey of Jesus because it is a very royal color and that royal color is for kings. And we know that Jesus is our king. We also know that he's going to be suffering. So we do not use like white and celebration colors. And that is another reason we use purple. Can you find that purple ribbon? Take a look back on the blue cross. Do you see that there are Easter lilies there? There's also a butterfly by that cross and a heart by that cross. Those are all reminders that during this very sorrowful and sad week, there is hope. And on Easter, Jesus rises from the dead and we all have life and he shows his love for all of us. During this coming week, we remember that it's hard week for Jesus, but he does it because he loves us and he is the son of God and he rises from the dead. Let's fold our hands to pray. Loving God, thank you for loving us so much. Help us to remember how much you love us and help us to remember everything that happened during this holy week, this time of Passion Week. In Jesus' name we ask this, amen.